Now we will see how to use the editing functions to finalize this timeline. Let's see how to navigate the timeline. To scroll the timeline, click and drag the positioner, which is the yellow bar on the timeline. To pan the timeline, click and drag the pan bar to the right or the left. The pan bar is just below the timeline. To zoom the timeline, drag the pan bar up or down. To reset the timeline view, click the Home button located on the lower right corner. To navigate between shots, press the up and down arrows or use the previous next controls in the player. Let's see how to use the editing functions to finalize this timeline. The editing operators are displayed between the source and record players. Select the clip number 4, Sandals Right, in the Source folder. Notice that the clips are numbered in the order they should appear. Click on the right player to put the record clip into focus. Navigate to the end of the timeline using the player controls. A way to add the clip to the timeline is to use the overwrite operator. Press the Override button located between the two players. The clip is added at the end of the timeline. Continue to add the remaining clips in this manner. Add them to the timeline in order until they are all assembled on the record area. Don't worry about the timing of the clips for now. We will trim them in the next editing exercise. In the next video, you will save your timeline to the library.